Onslaught, the new wave-based survival game mode is coming tomorrow. And with Bungie promising a challenge to make it to a max wave of 50 on legendary difficulty, what will be the best weapons and builds to bring with you? Well, worry not. I have a shopping list of all the options you should have on hand when jumping into the activity for the first time. So let's get straight into it. Weapons. So from the gameplay shown so far, it looks like it will be quite a lot of Bloons Tower defense like gameplay. Or rather, holding out a certain point of a map against waves of enemies. A lot of which being majors or champions. With the occasional boss fight thrown in for good measure. But the important aspect is keeping enemies away from the designated zone, as losing this will end the activity instantly. With that in mind, I have a list of weapons to have on hand going in. Starting with the heavy slot. Exotic options, Galahorn is a bit typical and likely still useful. Especially if you have a Cenotaph Warlock on your team for consistent rocket ammo. Dragon's Breath would be the best rocket if your team is not committed to all running rockets. But here's a suggestion which is a little bit more out there. Anarchy. We've seen from the footage a lot of enemies running through tight choke points. And this could easily deal with those, while being incredibly ammo efficient, especially with recent reserve buffs. Tractor Cannon is still the go-to for you Strand Titan bros, while Parasite is another viable option. For legendary options, I'm going to be boring and suggest Apex Predator. Like, who could have saw that coming? But a strong machine gun such as Commemoration will also put in work. For special ammo weapons, there's a hell of a lot to choose from. But bear in mind here, it will be smart to match your heavy and special element types to make use of surge mods on both. But this isn't a must. Anyway, go for either one or two of these. The Indebted Kindness is very flexible in its uses and has a whole host of strong roles where you cannot really go wrong. Either the Tusk of the Boar or the Forbearance are the best pound for pound ad clear special in the game. For something boss DPS focused, the Supremacy or Izanagi's Burden are both fantastic options, or a one-two punch shotgun should you have a melee focused build. Fusion rifles sit in that nice hybrid spot of both boss DPS and ad clear. The best of these include Scatter Signal, Riptide and Cartesian Coordinate. And now for primaries. The recommendation here is pretty simple. Stick to either Solar or Strand. The reason being artifact support and likely overcharge benefits too. Strand has Unravel Rounds and Threadling Generation, while Solar has Scorch and Ignite. Just be sure to have the correct mods equipped. Anyway, for Solar, pick from these. The Sunshot, the Parabellum or Callus Mini Tool, Vex Mythoclast, Daoli's Bane or the Summoner. And strong strand options include the Quicksilver Storm, Rufus's Fury, Final Warning or the Immortal. But if you do have a weapon not listed here which you prefer, then just go for it. In fact, in a lot of cases, running a primary won't even be needed due to the strong support available from certain builds. And that's what I'll cover next. Warlocks, I'm thinking full Mr. Freezy mode with stasis turrets and osmiomancy gloves for that crowd control element, which will be very important. Or a more typical solar setup. This could be Cenotaph for ammo gen, but I would only really recommend this if running Galahorn and legendary rockets. Or more often than not, probably Sunbracers, since this is one of the best ad clear and major target damage options available and will be completely loopable with higher enemy density. Titans, you want to full send the Banner of War. One two punch shotgun, tractor cannon, the W key, and that's pretty much it. Just the usual here, really. Cycle high damage melee abilities and keep Woven Mail active with Into the Fray so that you're constantly regening more melee energy. I'd take Symphoseps over Worm Gods here, just due to the ease of activation and the 50% extra super damage. But depending on how hectic defending the point could be, a Helm of Saint-14 Ward of Dawn Titan could actually work. Though I do think Strand is a little bit too good to pass up on. Hunters I could see getting a lot of value from Tether. This will be incredibly easy to loop with Orpheus rigs and will stop enemies reaching the objective. I'd probably advise against Gear Falcons for this to be honest, as you want to be drawing aggro while well, that would not be possible if invisible. A Lucky Pants build is also a top contender right now and will help out a lot when enemies start to get tanky. The best thing here is this could also be ran on any subclass of choice, as long as you're using a kinetic hand cannon such as Warden's Law or Malfeasance. So my personal suggestion for a team of three 
would be one Warlock on Solar and Sun Braces, with two Strand Titans, one with Tractor Cannon, the other Parasite. This will get the most out of Burst DPS, Survivability and Ad Clear. But of course, feel free to deviate or try out completely different setups. Plenty of builds will work exceptionally. Thank you for watching.